Hi guys, I hope you all are doing good. Today I want to show you how you can remap all the buttons on your Chromecast with Google TV's remote. The remote is pretty sweet and it's pretty small and minimal as you can see it right here. But if you don't like the default functionality of its buttons, you can definitely remap it according to your own liking. So that is what I am going to show you right here in this video. So to begin remapping the keys on your Chromecast with Google TV's remote, you have to install the button mapper. It's a free application available in the Play Store. Let me show you how you can install it. Open Play Store. In the Play Store, you have to find the button mapper. Button mapper. So this first application with four icons appearing on the left and the button mapper appearing on the right is the one that you have to install. Like I said, it's a free application. You don't have to worry about anything. Just go ahead and install it on your Chromecast with Google TV. It will literally take a few seconds to install this application as you can see it here on the screen. So once this application has been installed on your Chromecast with Google TV, you have to open it. And after opening it, it will ask you for the accessibility service permissions. Just go ahead to the accessibility settings under the system settings on your Chromecast with Google TV and locate the button mapper at the bottom and enable it. So once it's done, you can access the button mapper right here. You can see that the button mapper is now appearing under all the applications on my Chromecast with Google TV inside the Google TV Home Launcher. So you can access it the way you want. All right, so here it's showing some buttons by default, the volume up and the volume down. And right here we have the add buttons option, okay. So here we can add the buttons one by one. So what keys you can configure and what keys you should configure? Well, almost all the keys on the remote of the Chromecast with Google TV are programmable, except for the Google Assistant button, the power button and the mute button. So you have to be mindful about what keys you program and how you want those keys to work. Okay, so here click on add buttons. The first key that I recommend uh, remapping is this input key because it does absolutely nothing if you're not going to uh, perform any input actions on your Chromecast with Google TV. Just press this button and it appears as a TV input key as you can see. So you can click on this button right here and now you can turn on the customization for this and we have three options. The single tap, the double tap and the long press. Okay, so let's say I want uh, to press the single tap to open an application. Let's say I want to open Discovery Plus. Okay, I want the double tap to open, let's say File Commander. And I want the long press to perform an action. I want it to take a screenshot. Okay, so now we have the single tap to open Discovery Plus, double tap, to open file commander and long press to take a screenshot. Let me show you how it's going to work. Long press and it takes a screenshot as you can see right here. Okay, so single press and it opens the Discovery Plus application. And now I'm going to double press and it goes directly to the file commander file manager. Okay. Pretty sweet, isn't it? On that note, if you're liking this video so far, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and hit the like button as well. Okay, so let's head towards the button mapper once again. So there are many users who do not like uh, to open the YouTube or Netflix by directly pressing the YouTube and Netflix keys on the remote. So what you can do is you can press the YouTube button appearing right here and now this appears as the button three. Go ahead and change its functionality to whatever you want. For example, I want to keep the default key to YouTube, but I want to double tap it to maybe open another application such as, let's say the Fubo TV. And I want to long press this YouTube button to open HBO Max. Okay, so now with the one YouTube key, I can open three different applications. Let me show you this in action now, okay? Single press, YouTube. All right, okay, now double press. It takes us to the Fubo TV. And now, 
long press and it takes us to the HBO Max application. You can do the same with the Netflix button as well. Let me show you the mapping for the Netflix key as well. Add buttons and now click on the Netflix button right here. So the Netflix button appears as the button 4. And now I want to leave the default button to Netflix once again and I want to double tap to launch let's say Hulu. And I want to long press to launch let's say uh, Peacock TV. Okay. So here we go. Let me show you this in action as well. Single tap. It opens the Netflix application. I do have the Netflix subscription. So it's going to take us to the Netflix application right away. So now I'm going to double press the button. Here we go. It has taken us to the Hulu app. And now I'm going to long press this button. And you can see that it is now taking us to the application, the Peacock TV that I set to long press. Okay. So let's go back to the apps now and program another key. Add buttons. So now I want to program the home button because I don't like the default Google TV home launcher. I want to launch the F launcher when I press the home button on my Chromecast with Google TV's remote. So I will press the home button and you can see that the home button has been added to the button mapper but it took me to the home instead. So we have the home button appearing right here. Click on it and click on customize once again and single tap. Okay. So set this single tap to launch F launcher. So what's going to happen now? Every time I head back to home, it's going to take me to the F launcher instead of taking me to the Google TV home launcher. This is the sweetest way to get rid of the Google TV home launcher. Although you are going to see the Google TV home launcher every time you start your Chromecast with Google TV, this button is just going to bring up the F launcher over the Google TV home launcher without uh, going through any other processes. You don't have to permanently disable the Google TV home launcher. You don't have to install any third party applications to get rid of the Google TV home launcher. You can instead pull up the F launcher with just tap off this home button every time you want. So guys, uh, similarly, you can map the back key and also the radio pad OK button on the Chromecast uh, with Google TV's remote. I hope this guide was super helpful and super easy for you guys to understand and you have a very good idea of how to map all of the keys on your Chromecast with Google TV's remote. Uh, if you uninstall this application, all of the mapping will be wiped off and your remote will start acting as a normal remote. If you just want to remap or remove the mapping of one key, you can just highlight this delete icon next to the key right here and delete it instead and the mapping of the button will be gone. This is all with the remote mapper. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you found it good enough, please hit the subscribe button and help us grow our channel. Like this video too. With that being said, I'll sign off and see you all in the next one.